Hey, what's up you guys? This is the new turtle guy and I just want to make an update on my 55 gallon long tank. I have had this for about maybe two, three months now. And I have one African dwarf frog, four quarry catfish, two albino, two are emerald, three mollies, one golden dust molly, two Dalmatian mollies, and you'll see why and one pleco and of course the common snapping turtle i have about five six gallons of water in there my frog is somewhere around here i rarely ever see it rarely ever see it and there is my turtle my turtle is maybe two and a half months old but i have only had him or her for two months i don't know if it's a him or her yet because it is not mature enough to tell and the way how you tell with snapping turtles is come here this is O. Oh, just O. you know if it's a boy end up calling it oreo if it's a gal oh but with common snapping turtles the way how you can tell is if you flip them upside down they're almost like the regular turtles you know red belly red ear slider painted turtles map turtles musk turtles all kinds of species of turtles but common snapping turtles are a bit different their tail as you can tell all nice and cool Nice cool tail. Focus your camera, please. There's the tail, right? If you just flip it upside down or on its belly and you lay the tail down, if my camera can focus a little bit. Focus. That little bump right there, you can't tell right now. Like again, it's a baby, but that little bump right there in the center of the tail, right there in the middle. If you rub on the sides of the tail, on both sides, right here, let me up, get a better angle, right? Up here, right? On both sides, if something comes out, that is the penis, and that is a male. And if nothing happens, that is a female. That is how you can tell on common snapping turtles. I'm not sure if the same rule of thumb applies for alligator snapping turtles, but this is a common snapping turtle and that rule applies. Now for common snapping turtles, everybody knows, or if you don't know, now you know that they live in shallow waters most of the time, but they do travel to the deep, the bigger ones at least. The babies must be in shallow waters because they breathe air. They can only hold their breath for about I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. The longest probably be 35 to 40. Adults can hold up to an hour plus. This is a legit fact. How I know all of my stuff, it is because, check it out, you guys. I am in school for gunsmithing. Pretty cool. Now, the reason I know all of my stuff for common snapping turtles is because I went on Amazon and I bought this guide. It has all the information you need or majority of the information for a common snapping turtle, as you can tell. Not that long of a page. It's probably about 30 pages. There you go, right there. Last page is blank. It gives you all the information you need on a common snapping turtles. But guys, look. It's very basic. Very basic. Not that much to a common snapping turtle, to be honest with you guys. It is a very interesting dinosaur reptile, reptile, excuse me, as you can tell. But there's not that much to them. They just really live in shallow waters, hang out in the mud majority of their time, eat fish, worms, whatever they can get their, their jaw on, tell you the truth. And they just chill. They dig and they burrow into the ground i'm going to turn off my light here show you guys at night this is the night time what it looks like it's dark in my room as of right now and i have my little flashlight up there and i got me a little handy flashlight to find him or her at night or if i just want to look at the tank but as i'm saying if you guys can tell 
Kind of. Oh. It's burrowing. They really just burrow themselves into the mud or sand or whatever kind of sub substrate they have. And they just hang out. That's her bur burrowing right there. Kind of hard to tell because of the camera quality or angle that I have. But they just burrow and chill, stretch their long neck for air. As she was doing, but I didn't get a good chance to get it. And just chill. That's all they really do. They're not very eye-catching as other turtles. But let me tell you, it is worth the while to get in the long run of how amazing they grow and the bond you can build with them. I'm new to all this. So you guys, if you have anything you can share with me versus showing videos or anything you wanna share, please let me know. Please like and subscribe this video if it was helpful in any kind of way towards a common snapping turtle. Any kind of comment will be very grateful. I much appreciate it. You guys have a good evening and enjoy yourself. Thank you very much.